don't think this video is made to throw shade also you can always do whatever you feel is right because in this video i am only pointing you to beauty mistakes that i think you are still making but you can always ignore whatever i am saying if you feel this is not for you of course hey fabulous and welcome back to my youtube channel As a woman, it doesn't look pleasing to the eyes when you have hair on your legs. You may not have paid attention to it up till now, but you should. It is true that some of us, the hair on our leg grows faster than the hair on our head. That could result in us ignoring it as we end up growing tired of the commitment of getting rid of it every single time we notice the growth. You need to know there is a difference in when you have a smooth texture over your legs and when you have hair instead. When there is hair on the men's leg, it definitely looks good, but on a woman, it is a no-no. If you are on the table where you naturally have a smooth leg and don't have to worry about hairs on leg, congratulations. The benefit of exfoliating cannot be overemphasized. Exfoliating simply means getting rid of the dead old skin layer. Most of the times it may not be visible to the physical eyes but the outer part of the skin needs real taking care of. Let's not even talk about the crew number of things that part of the skin is always exposed to every day which is harmful to it. And just daily normal bathing cannot do the magic of restoring the vitality of what is needed and what is being lost. There are natural products you can use used to exfoliate so make sure when you decide to exfoliate you are using the right exfoliating product for your skin do not cause more harm than good on your skin you also do not need to exfoliate every day in fact i do not support exfoliating every day so depending on your skin type choose a routine that is right and works for you if you only use shampoo and conditioner to wash your hair, you are missing out on a very strong healthy routine for your hair growth and keep. Masking does magic for your hair health. There are tons of natural mixtures you can use. There is the likes of banana mix, coconut and egg, hot castor oil and so on. This topic is wide on itself and cannot be covered at a goal in this video. But I can tell you enough how good this is for you. Masking stops breakage of hair. The right masking technique can grow your hair. It can restore your hair color and rejuvenate the strength of your hair. It really does have a lot of benefits. You should consider implementing it. No matter how good the scent of your body lotion or body soap is, add the super scent of perfume with it. Nothing beats having a specific smell. People can remember you just by the smell you have. Do not go crazy when applying perfume on you though. Also, be very careful when selecting the perfume of your choice. Make sure you go for what you really intend to be remembered for. I always say it is better you do not put on perfume at all than putting on the wrong one. Also, under this, be considerate of those you will meet when you go out. You do not want them to have difficulty breathing just because of how you smell. <laughs> do not intensify someone else's health issue just because they came close to you. And unless you want people to hurry and leave your presence, be mindful of how you use your perfume. The last but not the least which may sound like a cliche to you is to smile. But I will add appropriately to it though. Don't just go shining your 32 everywhere and every time. You are never fully dressed up without a smile but still learn to smile rightly. Your face shouldn't look so stern that you are difficult to approach. And your face should not be so grainy that people take the initiative to step on you at every chance they get. Human Humans have the habit of going extra when you express an inviting atmosphere. Learn to master the act of smiling appropriately for your own good. You will be glad you did. My question for this week to you is, which of these beauty mistakes are you guilty of? 
For my last word for this week, it is taken from 1 Peter 3 verse 3 to 4 and it says, Your adornment must not be merely external, with interweaving and elaborate knotting of the hair, and wearing gold jewelry or being superficially preoccupied with dressing in expensive clothes. But let it be the inner beauty of the hidden person of the heart, with the imperishable quality and unfading charm of a gentle and peaceful spirit, one that is calm and self-controlled, not over-anxious, but serene and spiritually mature, which is very precious in the sight of God. This is not the Message Bible translation. This is the Amplified translation. To not miss out on videos like this, click on the subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed and toggle on the notification bell beside it to get updates every time I post new videos. Be kind enough to give this video a thumbs up and share it to others. I'll see you in my next video and I love you all. Bye!